To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, I'm Dipali Shah from Examwell. In this lesson, we are going to see about what is a resource, types of resources and its uses. Before getting started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. So, let's get started. What is a resource? A resource is a source or supply from where the benefits are produced. An item becomes a resource with time and developing technology. Typically, resources are materials, energy, services, staff, knowledge or other assets that are transformed to produce benefit and in the process may be consumed or made unavailable. Benefits of resource utilization may include increased power, wealth, functioning of a system or enhanced well-being. Types of resources Natural resources Natural resources are derived from the environment. Many natural resources are essential for the human survival while others are used for satisfying human desire. Conservation is the management of natural resources with the goal of sustainability. Natural resources may be further classified into the different categories such as based on origin. In biology and ecology, a resource is defined as a substance that is required by a living organism for normal growth, maintenance and reproduction. It can be further classified into biotic and abiotic resources. Biotic resources are obtained from biosphere and have life such as human beings, flora, fauna, fisheries, livestock, etc. Abiotic resources are composed of non-living things, for example rocks and metals. Renewable and non-renewable resources Renewable resources are infinite resources which cannot be exhausted and can be renewed or reproduced by physical, chemical or mechanical processes, for example, solar, wind energy, water, forest and wildlife etc. Non-renewable resources are formed over a substantially long geological time, for example, minerals and fossil fuels. Based on the stage of development, Potential resources Potential resources are known to exist and may be used in the future. For example, petroleum may exist in many parts of India and Kuwait that have sedimentary rocks, but until the time it is actually drilled out and put into use, it remains a potential resource. Actual or developed resources These are the resources that have been surveyed and determined for utilization both quantitatively and qualitatively. The development of resources depend on technology and the level of their feasibility. Stock resource refers to material in the environment which cannot be developed profitably because of the lack of technology. Reserve resource Part of the actual resource that can be developed profitably with the available technology is called a reserve resource. Resources that are based on the nature of ownership Individual resources These are the resources that are owned by private individuals. For example, land, house, plantations, ponds, water and wells, etc. Community resources These are the resources that are accessible to the, all the members of the community. For example, grazing grounds, burial grounds, public parks, picnic spots, etc. National resources These are the resources that belong to the nation. For example, roadways, railways, canals, mineral, water resources, forest, wildlife, etc. and also the land within the political boundaries. International resources These are the resources that are regulated by certain international institutions. These include the oceanic resources beyond 200 km of the exclusive economic zone which belong to the open ocean and no individual country can utilize these without the concurrence of the international institutions. Labor or Human Resources In economics, labor or human resources refers to the human effort in production of goods and rendering of services. Human resources can be defined in terms of skill, energy, talent, abilities or knowledge. Capital or Infrastructure Resources Capital refers to the already produced durable goods used in the production of goods or services. In essence, 
Capital refers to the human-made resources created using the knowledge and expertise based on the utility or perceived value. Common examples of capital include buildings, machinery, railways, roads and ships. Tangible versus intangible resources While the tangible resources such as equipment have physical existence, intangible resources such as corporate images, brands and patents and other intellectual property exist in abstraction. Uses of resources Typically, the resources cannot be consumed in their original form, but rather through resource development, they must be processed into more usable commodities and usable things. With increasing population, the demand for resources is increasing. There are marked differences in resource distribution and associated economic inequality between the regions or countries. Sustainable development is a pattern of resource use that aims to meet the human needs while preserving the environment. It means that we should exploit our resources carefully to meet our present requirement without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The practice of three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle must be followed in order to save and extend the availability of the resources. Various problems related to usage of resources are environmental degradation, overconsumption, resource depletion, tragedy of the commons, and myth of superabundance. Various benefits can result from the wise usage of resources are economic growth, ethical communalism, prosperity, quality of life, sustainability, and wealth. With this, we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for watching till the end. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. Thank you.